Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, but today I went to Ulta and I bought a couple different things um, that I wanted to show you guys in this video. So I've got some new stuff from Casey Holmes. I have a mascara, even though I forgot to use it in this video. Like, what the heck? And I just tried out all different kinds of new-ish things. The Nikki Tutorials highlight, my inner corner, the Morphe 35V palette, Pat McGrath gloss, I just tried out some new things in this video. So, so if you guys are interested in seeing this tutorial, so I don't drag on this intro any longer, um, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so I know it's been a hot minute, but I went to Ulta not once, but twice today because the first time there were a couple things that I wanted and the second time I saw that some Ultas had this out, which is um, Casey Holmes like little collab with Essence. And I don't know how much this cost because I just kind of threw it in the bag and I knew that I'd seen it the first time I was in there. But I didn't know what it was, so I didn't even look at it. But then I saw on Trend Mood, you guys know I love her page, so I had to go back and get it. And I found a couple other things that I want to use in this video. So first, I'm gonna start with this Lumi Glotion. I guess it's, I'm kind of comparing it to the MAC Strobe Cream, so I'm going to see if like the texture and everything is the same. Um, but this is 902 Light Glow. And I almost wanted to get the really dark one so I could like use it as like a, when I'm running out of the house and don't wanna wear makeup day, but still want my face to be as tan as the rest of my body. So I'm not gonna go back and get that. I just need to watch some more videos with it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this Too Faced Hangover RX Prime kind of spray. Um, I'm just gonna use this to prime day because it is already three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not even going anywhere, so I'm not gonna prime my makeup to last because I'm gonna be wiping it off in a couple hours. So I'm gonna give a nice spritz of that. And then for my foundation today, I actually bought um, this Makeup Revolution foundation stick. Now I've never actually had success with the foundation stick before. I've tried the Makeup Forever. I've tried the um, Hourglass that a lot of people love and it just shows a lot of texture on my skin. Um, but this one when I swatched it in store was super, super smooth. Like it literally melts on the back of your hand. And I am having some skin issues right now um, because I don't know, I didn't use anything new, but I use some of my skincare products together, like a different combination and they did not like each other. Um, so I even have texture like on my eyelids. So not very good, so I'm not gonna judge it off of texture unless it's extra texture, but literally like my whole face is covered with this weird kind of red texture. Um, so I bought the shade F6. Now, I went on the Ulta website just to look at the like undertone because I always had issues with the Makeup Revolution range of like tones, because even though it says like yellow, it'll be like gray or pink. Um, so this is F6 and it, I think it says it's supposed to have a peachy undertone, but compared to the one that was for light to medium skin or medium skin with yellow undertones, it was way more yellow than those two. So I don't know what the heck they, think and this is probably going to be too light as well um, but again the undertones were just way too peachy oops of some of the others and I might maybe using way too much oops like literally it melts look at it like melts it onto that so I'm just gonna rub that just to kind of clean it up and not waste it on my neck now to blend this out I'm gonna use this LC sponge my friend Megan nutmeg yo-yo she sent me this um, in the mail it's called the velvet sponge and this thing gets huge, like look at the box and then look at it, like it gets so much bigger whenever you use it. So I'm gonna take this side, I've never used a sponge like this shape and just blend out this foundation. And if you watch my videos regularly, when I actually post them, um, you guys know that I usually use a brush to apply my foundation, but I wanted to try this sponge for foundation and concealer today. So that's what I'm doing. Feels super nice so far, and this foundation did blend out really well. It doesn't dry too quickly since I did put it all over my whole entire face. I didn't think that through, so good thing. It did not dry quickly. So it's not super full coverage. It might be if you used a brush. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more. Um, even though I will use concealer to add extra coverage, I just wanna put, I want to put a tiny bit more um, just to give it like a fair shot. And it is a little bit light, but not too, too terribly light, which that does look pretty harsh on camera in my viewfinder. Um, but it's not too bad because my um, neck is definitely more pale. Like my chest and neck never get as tan as the rest of my body. So I will bronze everything up to make it match a little bit better, but it's not too bad. So don't come for me. Now I don't have anything new for concealing. So I'm gonna take my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector one of my holy grail products and I just stab that with my ring finger in between both of my fingers just kind of warm it up and then I'm just going to pat it onto my under eye 
always use your ring finger so you don't apply so much pressure on such a sensitive part of your face because no one wants eye wrinkles. And then to conceal, I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. You guys, this has slowly replaced my Tarte Shape Tape. And I know a lot of people have said that. And I didn't want to be the person to compare the two, like, head to head. Um, because that's just annoying. Like, you know, brands want to be their own when it comes to products they release. So, I knew, like, the first thing people were going to do is compare these two. And there are videos all over YouTube just like that. Um, but I was like, not too sure about it at first, and then now I'm realizing that I'm reaching for that over the Shape Tape, and I absolutely love it. So if you have not tried it yet, I highly recommend. Like if you run out of your Shape Tape, I would definitely try the Too Faced. It's so good. And that is the shade Almond. Um, I may use a little bit of vanilla, because it's just a little bit lighter. Since this one, oh well, not really that much lighter. Well. I guess this foundation is lighter than I thought because usually when I apply it, um, it's pretty light with my regular foundation. So I'm trying to get this open. This is also from the little Casey Holmes. And well, I don't really know if it is actually, oh yeah. We teamed up with, Casey, we teamed up with YouTube stars Casey Holmes to create this yellow loose powder. Gives it as a mattifying set of powder or set matte highlights for Or concealer baking okay yeah that was if you understood what I said so yes she did collab with them to make this as well Are my concealer is gonna be dry now I got the more banana yellow shade there is a um, more peachy tone for like more medium to deep skin tones um, so I'm just gonna dump some out in the back of the cap right here it looks super finely milled and I never really tried a lot of things from Essence um, so I don't know what to expect, but I do love their um, Pure Nude Highlight. So I have high hopes. And this is so weird. This is like super pointy tip, but that's really nice to get in your eye right there. A lot of people use mini beauty blenders and I'm just too lazy to, to dampen a mini beauty blender to do that with. So that actually is super nice. Okay, and now I'm just going to dip the sponge kind of just like want the pointy tip to go away for a second so I'm gonna pull it back um, I'm gonna dip the sponge into the cap of that powder whoa okay it made it super dark take some more because I can probably play around with it to bronze like when I bronze the rest of my face it feels really nice like it's super super fine but I just don't want my under eye to be like orange and the rest of my face is not okay and then I do get oily on my chin so I'm gonna put some baking powder there and then around my nose and mouth like upper lip area to really set that in so I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, I think you can, where sometimes powder really like changes your under eye. And it's not dark or anything, so it's not darker than my concealer. Um, but just to kind of even everything out, I'm gonna take, which there's a lot in the cap, um, I'm gonna take my Eco Tools full powder brush, shake out the excess a little bit, and then just set the rest of my face. Oops. So yeah, maybe it was just because the sponge is damp. It made it yellow underneath my eyes. I don't know, but gosh, that looks really terrible. Like it looks super, super smooth, but my under eye is yellow. And on my chin where I use the sponge, it is too, but the rest of my face obviously is not so should I put it all over my whole entire face? Everything matches? Let's try. We're just gonna press into my skin. With the damp sponge, so hopefully everything is the same color. Okay, 
Okay, so that's interesting. I'm gonna have to try that again another day without using a damp sponge because it's like the powder looks really smooth. Like it helped smooth out a lot of my texture. Wow. Okay, so that's so far so good, even though it, you know, kind of messed up the color a little bit. Now for bronzer, I'm going to use my number seven caramel bronzer. I'm actually gonna try some of the Jaclyn Hill brushes because I washed mine and I just have not used them yet. So this is very similar to the Tom Ford 05 brush that's $115. And this is the JH02 brush. Huh, I forgot about this. I do have the Essence Make Me Brow. So for my brows, I'm going to use the Kat Von D pencil. It is called the Signature Brow, and this pencil is really, really good. Now, I am the shade Dark Brown, and I use the shade Dark Brown in my Anastasia, but this one is a little bit lighter in color, and it also, usually whenever I do my brows, I use a brow powder first to go up underneath my eyebrow, and then the Brow Wiz from Anastasia to fill in the rest of my brow, and I only use the powder first because I like it. Um, but because I get super heavy handed under my eyebrow and then my eyebrows just look so bold um, Whenever I use just the brow is So I've actually really enjoyed this pencil because as you guys can see I did not go in with the powder first And it just looks super super pretty There's a spoolie on this side Kind of comb through because my eyebrows are so crazy on that side for whatever reason I even trim them on that side and not this eye and they still look crazy. But I'm just going back and forth between the two because that is what I normally do. And I will be doing an in-depth brow tutorial. Just my eyebrows turn out different every single day. Like every time I do them, they're a different shape. So I want it to be good and I want them to have, you know, like a good brow day when I film that video, so it will be coming, I promise. I'm gonna take my finger and just kind of blend out. And now I'm going to take ah, this palette. So I have the shade 10 Peachy Keen, um, but this is what the inside looks like. So it just folds closed like this. And then you have two highlights up here and then two really pretty blushes down here. So let's swatch. Looks kind of powdery. And this palette was $10, so it's not crazy expensive, but of course the real test is putting them on your face. This one is Golden Girl. The more kind of pinky highlight is Time to go to Glow. Um, the pinkish blush is very beautiful. And then the peachy one is just peachy. So to apply this, I'm going to take my um, Morphe E4 brush. I don't know which blush blush from Jaclyn's collab you would use to uh, apply the blush so I'm just going to use what I normally do. Um, I'm going to take Very Beautiful first, tap off the excess powder, and apply that to the apples of my cheeks. applying nicely I just feel like I would like it more if I didn't have on this stick foundation because it's almost like it's peeling up the foundation as I apply it and of course that's not good so I'm gonna go back into a different bronzer I'm gonna take matte give me sun and bronze up a little bit more try to tie this together sides of my nose. Yeah, it's definitely coming up whenever I put my brush on it. I'm gonna take my sponge, blend out my nose contour. Definitely not contour if you use a brush that huge. Okay, and then since my brows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlight. I'm going to take, let's do Time to Glow first. This is a Morphe M501. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. 
Now it is more pinky tone, which I usually don't like in a highlight. Um, but it's just so like glow from within. And gosh, you'll have to excuse my texture. This goes to show you guys that I do have skin issues. Everyone's like, your skin's so nice. Or they think I use a filter on my videos, but it's real. That is what the highlight looks like. And then in the midst of my kids coming in here, I, put, I did put Golden Girl just like right on the high points of my face. So I'm gonna take my little sponge, just kind of pat over that. Um, Cause again, the texture is so real on my face right now. Then I'm going to take this Morphe palette, okay? This is the 35V. And my friend Cameron posts about this on Snapchat. And you know, it looked pretty, like it had pretty colors in it, but I saw it in person at Ulta. And it, like the camera obviously does not do it justice. Like it is so, so, so stunning. And this shade is what really made me want to buy it along with like the blues. But this, even though it's like just an orangey brown, I was like, I gotta have it. So I'm going to take, let's try some of the and brushes. I'm not doing anything too crazy on my eyes but I do want to use that orange shade and then maybe a blue underneath. So I'm gonna go in and it has names, but it's on a little sheet and I'm not gonna be looking back at that, making sure this is the right one. Um, so I'm gonna take this shade right here as a transition and this is the JH30 brushes or brush. I'm just gonna apply that. Next, I'm going to take this shade right below and work that into my crease. This brush is super nice and fluffy, so that's good. And I am working this into like the inner kind of socket of my eye over here. And then I'm gonna take this shade right there on the same JH30 brush. Tap off the excess. So press it down first and then blend up. Okay, and then I have not put any extra product on the brush. I'm just kind of blending back everything to make sure it's nice and smooth. I'm actually going to take my Morphe M433 right here. It's just a little bit more, like more small and precise. And I'm going to go into that kind of burnt orangey brown shade and use the same technique. I'm just going to pat it down first and then blend over. into this shade right here and just work that into my crease with that same JH30 brush just to blend those two shades together even more. And then for the under eye, I'm actually going to take this super pretty blue shade right here and I'm gonna use that on a Morphe E36 brush. So let's hope that this doesn't really fall out onto my face. In fact, let's take a powder. I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me 05 Fair Light Powder and just press that right onto this area here. Just not bring it up too far or else, of course, it'll get in the way of where I'm going to place that shadow. Now there are two different blues in here. One of them it does have more purple in it and um, has like actual flecks of glitter. This is not that one. This is just the other shimmery blue next to it. Um, but I still didn't want it to fall onto my face.
And then with a Morphe E4, I mean, say E, with a Morphe M432, I'm going to take this navy blue shade underneath of that one. It's not like all navy blue, but it is like a royal blue with like a kind of navy. And I'm just gonna press that into my lash line right here. And then once I do that, I'm going to just kind of wiggle it down to blend those two shades in together. Okay, and I did just kind of lick that up a little bit um, because I am going to take um, this like teal green shade right here. And I'm going to take that and just kind of press that right above my lashes on the top and then just blend those two together and there's no extra product right now I'm literally just blending out what I lay down and then go into this shade that we used in the crease just to kind of tie everything together since it is blue and green Now I'm gonna take some more of the the powders all ripe powder. I didn't know that was the name of it. And a disposable disposable a disposable cosmetic sponge, and just clean up my blush, bronzer, and cheek area. Okay, for my waterline, I'm going to take the Urban Decay LSD eyeliner. It's like a navy blue kind of black with different little flecks of blue glitter in it. So we'll kind of play up the blue some, but without being too dramatic. So it'd be even prettier if I had my P. Louise base on, because that makes color so vibrant. So I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I'm going to take my NARS Climax Mascara. Just bought this today when I went to Ulta 2. Um, I've seen good things about it. Some people love it, some people hate it. So let's see what it's all about. Eh, it's nothing amazing. Like I like my roller lash much more, but now I've already spent 20 bucks on it, whatever. And my face is looking pretty matte and flat right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my Lila B mist, even though I'm not completely done with my makeup yet, um, and just spritz this all over my face. Because right now I can't see any of that lotion I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my lashes. These are the Kiss, apparently they're new, Blowout Lash. These are in the style Beehive right here. So that's what they look like in the packaging. And then for my lashes, I'm actually gonna take the Kiss Aloe Lash Glue. Um, it's a brush on, which I love, and that's a must for me with eyelash glue because I feel like with the tubes, like it gets so, so messy when you have to squeeze it out. And this Kiss Glue actually burns my eyes the least out of any lash glue I've ever tried. Um, the Thrive is really good too for not burning your eyes, but it just doesn't hold that well. So the House of Lashes, the Duo brush on adhesive that I used to use, the Kiss is my new favorite. Thanks to Kate Davis. Love her. So I always sit mine in the middle of my eye and then do the outsides. about to break some makeup rolls even though I've already put powder on it like I, I gotta have some more so I feel like it's throwing off everything even that little bit is so much better and then I'm gonna take my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer hit pan I'm so proud of myself I've never done that before and this Real Techniques base shadow brush Run that down the sides of my nose. Well, apparently that foundation doesn't like when you put other things on top of it with another brush because it's peeling back up right again. And then that Casey Holmes blush. 
I'm gonna do another little spritz of the face plus because my skin looks so dry. And I am super impressed with this um, blush palette because it looked really powdery and even though my skin looks super dry, it still applied really nice and still looks nice. So that's good to know. I'm actually gonna try Strip Down for MAC. Mm, no, I'm gonna do Oak. Then I'm going to take Smashbox Fair Game. A liquid lip. I'm gonna go back in for a little bit more blush. So I'm gonna use the Very Beautiful again from Casey's palette. And I'm just barely tapping it in there. And then one more thing for my eyes. I'm going to take this highlight right here. This is the Nikki Tutorials and Maybelline collab. I'm gonna take that on a clean pencil brush, pop that on as my, oh, girl, is my inner corner highlight. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I was gonna use Fix Plus, but I don't even need it. I love Molten Rose Gold and the Molten Gold. Those are two of my favorite highlights of all time. So I'm so glad I bought this one. And because I went a little heavy handed on the Fix Plus, it did wipe off or really wash away some of that bronzer. And I always go with bronzer really hard anyway, so I'm gonna throw that back on my forehead a little bit. Call it a day. And then to finish everything off, I am gonna use a gloss. This is the Pat McGrath gloss in the shade Gold Allure, Allure, however you wanna say that. Um, it's super pretty, just like yellow little flecks. And I'm gonna show you guys because I found an almost dupe this one is more like green yellow toned, but um, that is the Pat McGrath one right here. And then this is the Ulta Top Coat Gloss in the shade Euphoria, which I actually think is prettier when it comes to like the sparkles in it, because it does have that same yellow tone, but then it also, like greenish yellow tone, um, but then it also has like orange flecks of glitter and green flecks of glitter. So it just has a little bit more dimension. And then of course, it's a lot less expensive. So Euphoria from Ulta is on the bottom and then Pat McGrath um, Gold Allure is on top. So that is how those two compare. If you've been eyeing the Pat McGrath after Kathleen Lights talked about it in that video, uh, but just don't want to spend that money, get Euphoria from Ulta. So I am going to use Pat McGrath, but I wanted to show you guys that. Ooh. Ooh, that kind of separated. Good thing I'm wearing gloss. Pretty. Alrighty guys, so that is it for this tutorial. Um, my under eye still has that yellow tone, but it looks super, super smooth and blurred out, which is amazing. Um, my blush looks amazing. The highlight is pretty, other than the fact that I have a lot of texture right there because of whatever happened with my skincare. Um, this palette is amazing. I love these eyelashes lip combo I love and I am gonna play around with these products some more give you guys like my full thoughts on them so if you don't follow my Instagram that's probably what it will be it's on my Instagram story so I'll leave my little handle right here if you guys want to follow me there I would greatly appreciate that and would love to have you guys on my Instagram um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next tutorial bye